Hello and welcome back to the second part of the New England Patriots Offensive Ebook. This is going to be a very short video. I'm planning on keeping this around 10 minutes because there's not too much to show off, but this isn't gl a glitchy scheme and it is really, really easy to run in my opinion. It might be one of the easiest things to run in Madden right now. Uh, our audibles for the I form tight formations formation are F back lead, strong stretch. Goal line fade, we know about that, we want PA tight in corner, and PAY seam can stay that way. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to the channel, uh, give the video a like if you enjoy it, and if you feel like my videos can help a friend of yours, please recommend me to your friend. That is always important for me to have people recommend me, because that is one way to grow on YouTube, and I really appreciate you guys if you do that for me. Now let's get into the scheme and kind of like the idea of this scheme the idea of this scheme is to run the ball effectively because i from tight is a great run and the running ball is back in man 21 and then have passing plays very simple passing plays plays that beat man coverage because man coverage is generally going to be the defense that you're going to face when you're running the ball because a lot of the run defenses are man coverages and we can exploit that and talking about the personnel now you can do one of two things you can invest in Two running backs that have both backfield master. It is best if you have two, uh, what is it, receiving backs. I think that's what the archetype is called. Two receiving back archetypes have archetype have backs because that will allow you to put one of them in fullback. And then you have two backfield masters out there that can get all the running back runs. That's one of the glitchiest things in this game. Just because they are so flexible in that fullback spot. If they have, uh, have backfield master, and it's just a whole lot to deal with. Combine that with the running game, you have a pretty good scheme. The idea of this scheme is to send out man big routes and then once you cover all of them with zones, have the running backs leak out of the backfield. Now, where did I get this idea from? Actually, it's not a genius idea, but, or it's not, you don't have to be a genius to figure this out, but I ran up against this online in one of my weekly league games. You actually saw that in the last video I did, giving you some tips how to beat uh, people in weekend league. Uh, from that weekend, and I gotta say, I stopped it pretty well because my defense was like, it was the defense I was running at the time. It was like tailor made for to stop this scheme. It really was just the perfect defense to stop it. If people don't run my defense, it's, it's gonna be a hell of a lot to stop. Now, the most important thing out of this is just to keep running the ball. Keep running the ball as, as long as you can because that will then in turn open up some of the passing plays. Halfback lead and halfback stretch are obviously the runs you wanna go to. Let's just go against cover two. And really depending on what you see from the defense one of the setups is to press and then pinch if you see your opponent pinch then you want to go to strong stretch and you just want to try to get to the edge oh what's <laughs> you want to just get to the edge and get, get some easy yards now if your opponent is shading outside or slanting outside because that is one of the ways to kind of like stifle the outside run then you can run inside and try to get some easy yards on the ground up the middle now that was terrible to run stick because i generally don't run the ball that much but if you get used to where the uh, holes in the defense are, you can exploit that. Now, obviously, the run game is very powerful. And you want to use it as much as possible. PA tight in corner. I gotta say, this is not my favorite play. Uh, my only setup for this is pretty much just to uh, put the running back on an angle route, and that's it. Really, that's just it. When you snap the ball, you'll see that this corner route kind of beats main coverage. It kind of also doesn't because I have 99 speed, 99 man coverage right there at linebacker so that's tough but against your 95 linebacker that corner is going to get open another thing uh, that can get open is this post right, right here you see off the cut it gets a little bit separation that's fine but in general what you are looking to throw on PA tight in corner that's pretty much the only setup I have for PA tight in corner because this play doesn't offer anything uh, that PAY seam doesn't offer that's greater but obviously right there you can do that sometimes they get mixed up with uh, the running back because the running backs both go get out of the backfield and sometimes uh, the linebackers kind of run into each other so that's one way to get one of your running backs open but that's all for PA tight end corner let's now talk about some setups out of POY seam the most important thing about this setup is to always have a post from the outside receiver on the field now you can achieve that by either having or <laughs> if I were you and you and I really wanted to run the scheme, uh, I would invest in a hot route master quarterback because then you get all the hot routes from any position. That means you can put any tight end on any route, any halfback on any route, any wide receiver on any route. That's also pretty compatible for the 
um, for the entire offense of the Patriots. So if I were you, I would invest in hard drive as the quarterback because now you're really flexible with your offense. What you can now do is you can put Killoni Conrad, put uh, the fullback on a flat route and then have an angle route on Kamara. Kamara. Now one very nice thing, uh, this works with the fullback, I know that it does. Maybe it also works with the halfback, if you motion out then motion back in. Now you see we have flipped the angle route and now it goes to the other side as it, than it would usually. So right there, once again 99 speed, 99 zone. But you guys know if you watch the Panthers ebook that I did, Angle Rod's doing, doing a nice job of beating man coverage. Now, the corner out on Kittle once also beats man coverage. It doesn't right here because we have 99. We have literally the best coverage, uh, man coverage we can have, also faster than Kittle. So he's not going to beat it. But I'll see if I can get it open right here and show this to you. Okay. He just stays outside of him. So this is probably not, not smart to show this against literally the best defense there could be. 99 speed, 99 zone, 99 press, 99 uh everything pretty much but believe me uh both kelsey and kill can get open against man coverage especially if you have two great tight ends like vernon davis and their waller there then that's just a mismatch all right then it is just about finding smart ways to leak your running backs out of the backfield one way that you can do that is by flatting and then having, having an angle out coming behind it once again we want that post route out there now we really can get creative um, for example, we can do something like this uh, Put kill on a crosser motion him across now. We have the crossing route that beats main coverage the post that can beat main coverage over the top If there are no deep zones out there and the angle route that beats main coverage as we know Yes, um, also the flat route from Kamara It is a nice way to kind of see if the user guards him because either the user is gonna guard the running back or usually all right Let's talk about let's talk about it this way um, the user is going to use a linebacker that is supposed to cover the halfback or the fullback in main coverage. If he neglects that job that he has on defense, then we can throw to either one of them. So that's why I like to send both halfbacks out just to see if my opponent gets a little bit lazy, doesn't cover the halfback, then I can throw it to either one of them. So now if I snap this ball, you will see that Belor, that's actually, that's worst person I can have there because he's actually a fullback you want two running backs in there so let me just substitute somebody else in but the angle up beats main coverage the crosser beats main coverage and just in general this just find creative ways to get your halfbacks out in space one thing you can also do and I want to show this to you um, now we of course have to pretend that our user we're using this guy we have to pretend that he's uh, for some reason following the post drop because he's afraid that he might get Burns deep, burn deep. And that is actually a thing that will happen to you uh, very often. If we now snap this ball, okay, we see nothing is open. But since the user is all all the way out of the play, we have that. If we keep the play action on, he'll go on that little route, and then we can throw it to him. That's just something to keep in mind. That's always there for you, or not always. That's there for you if you're if you kind of feel like your opponent might be lazy and might not cover it properly. Now against cover two, this is just something that's unique to this route. Um, hopefully it'll work uh, but if you want you can try to throw that in a very tight window right there once again that's 99 speed 99 zone that's gonna be covered a lot as well as it'll ever be or that was covered about as well as it'll ever be so that means you'll get it more open in the game most likely now another side that I like is kill on the crosser and then uh, Kamara on the on the flat route McCaffrey on the angle push him to the right or to the left getting mixed up with left and right and then post that is another setup just get creative find ways to um, get your halfbacks open now that's pretty much all there is about this formation I want to talk to you guys about the pages ebook all of this is written down in the, in the document the document let me look actually I have it open right here um, the document so far is 12 pages long it has an in-depth breakdown on, a, on every single setup like about four to five lines uh, of very small print of me kind of like explaining what the play does and how it fits in with the scheme It is a really in-depth breakdown. You guys should definitely follow my twitch uh, For you guys that have been asking follow the twitch send me a whisper over there. I'll send you the uh, link to the Panthers ebook over there and I'll also send you the link to the Patriots ebook written down right here once I'm done with it So yeah, that's just kind of something you should get excited for because this is a lot of free content I'm thinking I was thinking about making it uh, hiding it after a pay behind a paywall, but I felt like I owe you guys this. Maybe the next ebook I'll do 
will be behind the paywall if I get some better results in weekend league maybe I feel like I can charge you more I can charge you something for it but of course all the videos I'll upload all the videos they will be free just if you want to get the written version next ebook you'll have to pay for it all right um this pa Patriots playbook as I go through this right here I haven't even broken down gun bunch yet still am yet to break down split close pads there's just so much to know if you guys are here for the journey through the Patriots playbook subscribe to the channel turn on notifications so you know uh, when I put up the videos, it'll be about two to three more weeks since I'm uh, until I'm done with the Patriots offense. It'll be a whole lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys can uh, use this effectively in your seasons games and also in weekend league. If you want to know how to get a better record uh, in weekend league, then watch the last video I did. I'll link it in the card above and also in the end card. See you in the next video. I appreciate you taking the time. Peace out. I mumbled the outro, but that's fine.